Hello everyone, X Wallkill Bethelite here. And I recently heard about the uh, elder who was doing work on a woman's home. Now, this is something I think maybe happened a year or so ago and the news is just getting out. Uh, because, you know, court cases and things like that, that take quite a bit of time. Well, this elder's doing work on this woman's home. It's not going well. It's not going well at all. Uh, it's taking months and months longer than what it should. As a matter of fact, the woman puts up cameras. She's got cameras in her backyard, possibly to prove that he's not back there doing any of this work uh, that she's paying him for. Well, in the video that the woman had recorded in her backyard, you see the man putting on gloves. And then you see the man walking back towards the house. As a matter of fact, when he comes back out, he's got blood all over him. So he went back in the house. This is an elder, right? This is the person that Jehovah has picked to shepherd the flock. Keep in mind, Jehovah's Witnesses believe that God does not pay attention to any other church but theirs. So the Baptists, the Pentecostals, the Catholics, you know, you put it all together and there's a billion people. Jehovah's not paying attention to anybody. He only has one, according to the cult, true organization, and that is Jehovah's Witnesses who are led by Watchtower. So according to the cult of Jehovah's Witnesses, Jehovah doesn't focus on any other religious group. That's not tying up his time or attention. He's focused only on this little itty bitty group called Jehovah's Witnesses. And in that little itty bitty group that he's focusing all his time and attention on, he has selected someone to shepherd, to look after, to spiritually feed this all important small group, <coughs> excuse me, that he has selected out of everybody. And you mean tell me that the one group that Jehovah is looking after, he selected someone to shepherd them out of the whole planet. He selected somebody to shepherd this little group. And the guy he selects to shepherd the group brutally murders a woman with, they believe it was a hammer, a blunt object. He goes in there with a hammer, puts on gloves so it was premeditated. He knew he was going to do it. Goes in the house, kills her with a hammer, bloody, blood all over him. And then afterwards, guess what he does? Well, God's one organization that's all important to, to, to Jehovah he goes and leads worship service. In the, he goes to the kingdom hall, right? He's either elder or ministerial service, something to that effect if he's taking a lead at the, at the meetings. He goes to the kingdom hall. He's not struck by lightning, right? Jehovah had to be aware of what was happening. He wasn't struck by lightning. Nothing stopped him from going into the kingdom hall. Nothing stopped him from participating. God's Holy Spirit did not prevent a murderer from leading the flock. The one little flock that, that according to the cult, Jehovah has picked out out of all the planet. He's picked out one little flock. And he had a murderer leading that flock. Now, that doesn't sound like anything a loving God would have 
anything to do with. In my opinion, Jehovah's Witnesses are the demons Trojan horse. Jehovah's Witnesses are a way for the demons to enter into people's homes. In this situation, quite literally walking into a woman's home and committing a blood sacrifice. Murder, he comes out, blood is everywhere. So in this situation, it's quite literal. But it's a way for the demons to be involved without being a church per se, without having crosses or any kind of religious symbols. These are things that you would think demons would not be fond of, you know, the, the, the cross or Christian symbols. Well, in the cult of Jehovah's Witnesses, they don't have no crosses, right? As a matter of fact, they think religious symbols are a horrible thing. Uh, you would not be allowed to wear a cross if you are going to the kingdom hall of Jehovah's Witness. You wouldn't be allowed. Now, Jehovah doesn't mind if an elder uh, murders someone and leads the, 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 the congregation meeting, but they would not allow you to have a cross and lead a congregation meeting. They are that adamant that they hate the cross that much. Well, and every exorcist movie you watch, what do they do when the demon has got the person's head spinning around and he's just going all crazy? You know, he's, just, he's his eyes all turning blood red and, and, and the person is possessed. What does the priest do? He brings out a cross. He gets holy water. He, religious emblems that that demon does not like. And you can tell when you're watching these movies that when they do that, typically the demon is in some kind of discomfort or it pisses it off or something to that effect. Well, of course the demons wouldn't want crosses in a kingdom hall. And how do they get people to uh, get rid of crosses? Well, they, 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 they say that Jesus died on a stake. Okay. Well, why aren't there stakes in the kingdom hall? Why don't they have a big pole, right? If they're Jehovah's Witnesses are saying, well, all these Christians are, are saying that Jesus died and rose from the dead. Well, Jehovah's Witnesses would agree with that. Uh, but the Christians are, are showing this cross to show that Jesus conquered the cross. He, he, he rose off that cross. The cross couldn't stop well, if Jehovah's Witnesses think it was a stake, if that's really the reason they don't want crosses in the kingdom hall, if Jehovah's Witnesses think it was a stake, then why don't they just have stakes and say, well, Jesus conquered the stake? Because that's not what it's about. The, the demons do not want religious emblems, symbols of Jesus Christ anywhere near them. So they don't want them in kingdom halls and that's why they're not. That's why they're not there. We've known for over a hundred years that particularly Jehovah's Witnesses, Watchtower, doesn't want people to have uh, surgeries that would replenish the blood. So it's, 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 it's one of those situations where watchtowers literally sacrificing countless people, countless people, because once a person gets older uh, and they have complications, their body isn't as strong. So they, they need blood to make it through surgeries and procedures that, you know, the medicine, the, the technology that we have, it makes available for everybody, right? Well, Jehovah's Witnesses are like, well, no, we'll go back to the Stone Ages and, and we're, we won't have any of those medical procedures, even if it's babies dying, even if it's people dying. And just like the stake scenario, right? See, the, the devil is supposed to be the liar and the father of the lie, right? 
it don't mean that you know what I mean? He can't pretend that he's telling the truth, but there would be a breakdown in the logic somewhere with this lie, right? A, a lie, there's a big difference between a lie and the truth. A lie, there's, there's some kind of a breakdown in there somewhere if you pay attention to the details, right? The devil's in the details. Well, the Bible never says anything about a person not having a, a life-saving medical procedure uh, it actually says Jesus shed his blood to save all of mankind. The Bible doesn't say anywhere that a person can't use blood to save lives. It's talking about not eating it. Right? So just like the, 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 the devil uses twisted logic with Jehovah's Witnesses and say, well, the reason why you don't have crosses everywhere, he can't just come out and say, well, I don't like them. He, he says, well, it was a stake. It wasn't a cross. Jesus died on a stake, like a, a pole. That's why we don't have him in there. And just like, you know, all the other lies the devil tells, when it comes to blood transfusions, the devil says, well, the Bible says don't eat it. Right? Well, you can see the logical fallacy Uh is that that's not a meal. It's called a surgery. It's not called dinner. It's called surgery. It ain't breakfast. It ain't lunch. It ain't dinner. It ain't no snack. It's called surgery. It's a medical procedure. So if someone opens you up and, 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 and puts uh, a heart monitor inside you, or they, they, they open you up, Right in the surgery, you're, you're in, and, and they put something inside you to preserve your life. You didn't eat it. That's why it's called a surgery and not dinner. You didn't eat it. Right? It wasn't a meal. Those defibrillators or whatever they put in people to make their, uh, to shock their heart, just in case their heart stops, they put them inside you, right? Well, that, 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 that object wasn't eaten. Some people, they have metal plates put inside them for bones to heal. Well, does a person eat metal? No, it wasn't a meal. They didn't eat it. That's, that's a procedure, a medical procedure. The same with blood. If they got to open you up and while they're opening you up, stuff is coming out of you. They got to put more in. You ain't eating it, right? So Jehovah's Witnesses, Again, the Trojan horse, the thing that the devil hides in to pretend to be a part of a religion, to be able to get in people's houses. Well, the twisted logic or the lie, the fallacy of, well, I didn't say this just so that I can revel. The devil can just revel in all these people dying, babies dying, people dying from... Uh, not taking any kind of life-saving blood. And that might be something that reminds the devil of Jesus. Jesus gave his blood to save mankind. Well, the devil now hates blood, right? Jehovah's Witnesses hate blood. It's not about a, a, a dietary restriction, which is what's in the Bible. The Jehovah's Witnesses take it even further. They don't want nothing to do with blood. They don't care if you are dying on the medical surgery table. The devil hates blood. Blood reminds him of Jesus. So he'd rather watch people die than have a blood transfusion. Well, that's Jehovah's Witnesses. Why is it everything demonic, everything satanic, anything the devil would like done, Jehovah's do it. I mean, Jehovah's Witnesses do it. I call them Jehovah's. They're known as Jehovah's too. Right, The people that knock on doors and the people that stand next to those little carts giving out watchtowers. Why is it that everything that the devil would want done, they do it? How about attacking religion? Right? How many religions do you know? And, and, and Jehovah's Witnesses, I mean, when, they, when you talk about attacking religion, they literally go door to door to door to door 
And I grew up going door to door. As a kid, I sat and watched, you know, and, and, and I eventually I picked up on the pattern, right? They go to a door. The person would say that they're Catholic, that they're happy with their faith. They're happy with their relationship with God. They're Catholic. They're good. Well, the Jehovah's Witness would then start trying to pick out things that they could find that's wrong with the Catholic Church, right? They'd pick out things that's wrong with the Catholic Church and try to destroy that person's faith in the Catholic Church. Well, the same with the Baptist. If a Jehovah's Witness knocks on a Baptist person's door and the Baptist says, well, I'm, I'm happy with my relationship with, with uh, Christ. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm at a church. I'm happy at the church. I'm glad you came by. No, the Jehovah's Witness is going to try to poke things about the Baptist church to try to destroy the person's faith in the Baptist church, right? To try to make them come to the cult. Who better? Who else would love to uh, literally just all day attack every Christian religion there is? The devil. The, de the devil wouldn't want no crosses. Jehovah's Witnesses don't like crosses. The devil's probably traumatized by blood. If you talk about Jesus, blood saving everybody. And who else hates blood? Jehovah's Witnesses, right? They go way beyond the scriptures that are talking about dietary stuff. And they get in the whole freaking, the, 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 the freaking medical industry, right? They, they, they can't stand blood. And then who else attacks every religion known to man? It's the Jehovah's Witnesses, right? There was something called the Australian Royal Commission. And it, 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 it really got into thousands of cases. You know, sometimes when we think about a court hearing, you're talking about one case or one person having several charges. No, that was a hearing about thousands of charges, thousands of cases. And when you watch uh, the videos they have on that proceeding, you had a representative of Watchtower there. And what was he doing? Lying. And what is the devil good at? Why, why do they call him the, the, the father of the lie, like the originator of the lie? If the Bible keeps on repeating that over and over and over again, it's telling you the devil is really likes lying. Like he does it a lot. That's one characteristic that you're going to notice about the devil. He's just always lying. Well, Australian Royal Commission, they ask a governing body member if they're the one true organization representing God on earth. And what has Watchtower been saying for a hundred years? That they're the one true organization that represents God on earth. Well, this governing body member uh, again, someone that is over the, the flock, right? Just like this elder that murdered, and the woman that he murdered was <laughs> a Jehovah's Witness. She probably went to his congregation. Well, the, the, the uh, governing body member lies. He says, well, it would be presumptuous. It would be presumptuous to assume that we're the, the only true religion on earth. <clears throat> you ain't never heard a Jehovah's Witness say that ever, ever in history up until they decided it was in their best interest to start lying. Now, he gets up there, not only is he lying, but he refuses to do anything about the situation. As a matter of fact, you can look at Jehovah's Witnesses today and about the only thing that they ever did was make a watchtower uh, well after the damage was done saying, well, you can you can call the, 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 the authorities if, if something happens. 
uh, because for the longest time, the cult would not call police. They didn't trust the police. The police was a part of the world, right? Anything outside the cult, they didn't trust. But that Australian Royal Commission gave a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of a glimpse of what goes on inside the, the devil's Trojan horse. That's Jehovah's Witnesses. A whole lot of child molestation, a whole lot, like thousands of cases, a whole lot of child molestation. And we can't see, you know, we can't get a bird's eye view of Watchtower and see every bad thing going on, right? But we can look at the evidence that we do have. And what we do have is an elder murdering one of his congregation members uh, with a, a, a hammer, blood everywhere. What we do have is a governing body member going to court and lying. What we do have is Thousands, just countless child molestation. There's cases outside of the Australian Royal Commission. This is all these cases of child. So we do know a whole lot of stuff is going on inside Watchtower or Jehovah's Witnesses that the devil would love, right? The devil would love it. Jehovah would hate it. Jehovah would hate child molestation. God would, Jesus would hate child molestation, would he not? Right when Jesus was talking about don't stop the the kids from from coming to to him and and he he you know he loved the kids right Jesus would hate child molestation well what would the devil love anything that Jesus hates child molestation so it would go rampant in the Jehovah's Witnesses which according to the Australian Royal Commission and all the other things it does and I grew up in that. And it, it brings a chill up my spine when uh, the news actually reported on the, the sex abuse that was going on inside Jehovah's Witnesses. And I remember my stepdad at the time, who's an elder now, was telling us all in the family to don't watch it. Like it's literally just on the news. We're, we're to turn our backs on this person, the reason why is because she's speaking out about having been sexually abused. That is the polar opposite of what a Christian would do, right? Isn't that what the devil would do? The polar opposite. So he would tell all his followers, the devil would tell all the Satanists, which are Jehovah's Witnesses, all to turn your back on this woman who's trying to do the right thing and stop the child molesters from, from continuously doing things like that, uh, the devil would really like the child molester and really would not like her. Well, the Jehovah's Witnesses really didn't like the woman. I think it was Candace Conti, right? And that was on the news. Well, the, the Jehovah's Witnesses really didn't like her. They were fine with the child molester, molesters, right? If you try to get a Jehovah's Witness to watch the Australian Royal Commission, most likely they won't watch it. They're fine with the child molesters, but a person who's trying to stop the child molesters, if they're on the news or something, oh, they'll turn their backs on them. I mean, come on now. That's blatantly obvious. Exactly what the demons would do. The demons would be furious that this person is stopping child molestation, <laughs> right? Why is it that every characteristic that is demonic, every one of them, you find within Jehovah's Witnesses? Uh, who originated the family? Wouldn't you say that God originated the family. Well, what the Jehovah's Witnesses are, they're just known for destroying families. They're bar none there. Nobody destroys families better than Jehovah's Witnesses. Jehovah, I mean, my goodness, Jehovah's Witnesses, all they do 
in every congregation on the planet is destroy families. They tell their members to shun people for a number of reasons. There's so many reasons that this just, they're going to destroy families, right? You're going to have brothers not speaking, uh, mothers not speaking to their kids, their kids not speaking to their mothers. Like it is bad within Jehovah's Witnesses where you got all these close family members, people that grew up in the same house that have not spoken to each other in decades, right? For a lot of reasons, if a person doesn't want to be a member in that religion, well, the Jehovah's Witnesses use that as an excuse to destroy that family relationship. And what the Jehovah's Witnesses do? Well, they lie about it. You get on their website and the website will say, well, we don't shun. Uh, we, 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 a person who is disfellowshipped or a person who no longer wants to be a Jehovah's Witness, well, they can still have normal family relationships. That is the polar opposite of what happens. It is, it is widespread shunning. It is the polar, complete and total opposite of what happens, right? So you, you got the lie there and you got the destruction of something that God would love, right? The, the family, a little unit, a, a little circle of love. The devil would hate that. The devil would hate that you got these people and they love each other. And, and, and he doesn't like love and he doesn't like people who are uh, uh, self-sacrificing and, and doing things that are kind of Christ-like and stuff like that. He wants to break that up. So who else would design an organization that would systematically destroy families by shunning for darn near any, you know, <laughs> any reason? You don't even have to be disfellowshipped to be shunned. Jehovah's Witnesses, that's just their go-to for darn near any situation is to just automatically start shunning uh, a person. And, 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 and in the older literature that the uh, Jehovah's Witnesses used to print, you saw more uh, blatant, much, much, much more blatant mention of things that we would all think of as probably satanic. An invisible presence. Now, I grew up in that, that cult uh, because my parents were part of it. Now, my father wasn't. Uh, but stepdad and, 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 and the such were in it. Uh, so I grew up hearing things. I grew up reading things. I know that this was taught within Jehovah's Witnesses, that they were given authority. You talk about authority. You talk about who told you to go knocking on doors. Who told you that you could put Watchtower on a magazine and then start getting out, giving out the magazines to everybody? Who told you you could say who's a ministerial servant and an elder? Who told you you could do that? Well, answer the answer that Watchtower gave was that there was an invisible presence there was an invisible presence that selected them and gave and told and gave them the authority to be doing those things. That would be the devil. That would be the invisible presence or demons. It could have been demons. It could have been any one of the demons. That would be that invisible presence. And Watchtower was also using the term channeling a lot back then, uh, calling themselves God's one and only channel. So you talk about channeling an invisible presence, channeling and invisible presences. We would all get a chill up our spine and say, man, that sounds like a demonic cult. Like these are a bunch of devil worshipers. Bingo. There you go. Those are Jehovah's Witnesses. So you got elders literally murdering members uh, and then going to the kingdom hall like nothing ever happened. Like it's just a, a regular blood sacrifice to them. You got global blood sacrifices with the people dying in hospitals everywhere because 
They, they hate blood. You know, it reminds them of Jesus Christ's blood sacrifice. You, you, you add it all up and Watchtower, Jehovah's Witnesses, is the Trojan horse of the devil. That's how he gets into people's homes. He sends murderous elders and child molesters and everybody else to people's homes, knocking on their doors, standing on corners with carts. And that's how he gets into people, he gets a hold of them. And once he gets a hold of them, he destroys their family through shunning and just demolishes the person. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, X Wall Kill Bethelite signing out.